Yeah, and the first answer for the first question is, this is Atlantic Ocean, and we are in Port Orange, Florida. And I can see the idea of studying English in a language school in the US uh, very long ago. They given us uh, 90 days Schengen visa. Yeah, we have prepared all our paperwork, uh, we paid all our fees, booked all our, all our uh, hotels, accommodation, we have bought all our tickets and we're ready to start. So actually we're waiting for the date. Well guys, behind me is the main rail railway station of, uh, train station of Voronezh. So now we're going to hop on the, tr uh, on the bus to Moscow. From Moscow I have a, a flight to Baku. And from Baku, which is intermediate point, I'll go to Istanbul. Yesterday, when I was in Domodedovo, Moscow airport, Putin announced a draft. We are starting out our tower in the Tux Tuxim Square. This mosque and this building have seen the fallen of the empires. It outlived so many civilizations. Well, guys, this is Sabihir Chan International Airport, and we are flying to Madrid from here. We are running out of money. We, I took a lot of euros with me, uh, more than enough for maybe 10 days, but not for a month or even more. Still, we have no idea what to do next and what is the status of my passport, where, it, where did it go and what to do with that. And uh, I feel that we are a bit outstaying in Madrid. But on the way we need to pull into, we'll drop by Zagreb, Croatia to get vaccinated by a vaccine that, uh, uh, that accepted in the United States. Well guys, we made it, we landed in Zagreb. Check this out, this is the uh, airport parking. I don't know why I'm showing it to you, but uh, <laughs> I decided to do it. Well, n now we're trying to find a bus, uh, which is a cheaper than uh, than shuttle. They don't accept euros here. I mean, uh, they exchange euros, but they don't accept it in transport. Though it's Schengen zone also. And yeah, now we're gonna uh, we have a we have booked an uh, an accommodation here in the downtown. So we need to find a way how to get there. Francho Tudman Airport. Check it out. Welcome to Zagreb, guys. And now we got up, uh, we got off the bus uh, on Market Station, and now we have a four kilometers to walk to our hotel. Well, guys, and do you see the cafe behind me where all the people are drinking the water with lemon? What is the, what's the feature of it? I can, I can figure out. Maybe you can explain me. Well, everyone, everyone is, uh, is drinking water with lemon. This is the heart of Zagreb, as far as I can guess. It, uh, the monument alludes that the, this is it, at least. Did you know that Zagreb was found in uh, 11th century? And initially, uh, before it was found, th this territory belonged to Roman Empire, then Byzantine Empire, and then, oh my gosh, what a beautiful cathedral down here, down there. Check it out, but it's under reconstruction or something, under renovation work. This is the monument to Ban Jelacic, and date is uh, 1848. The building with a beautiful dome and, and uh, clocks on the top, on the roof. Check it out, and the beautiful uh, street with the tramways. Yeah, with the trams. May, uh, evidently, this is the main pedestrian street of Zagreb. Do you see this advertisement? Can you pick it out? Uh, Old one CJ, na 2023, na Snovash. Uh, this advertisement uh, means uh, that uh, the uh, the Croatia joins or accedes to Eurozone and Euro Union. Well, guys, we failed to check in because they have very late check in at uh, three o'clock, three p.m. Well, the only thing now I want to do is to just to dump my very heavy bag with a lot of personal effects in it. Now we're going to search for some maybe canteen, cafe, buffet, buffet or something to just to uh, have a snack and just to dump my bag for, for a while, just to uh, have a rest to my shoulders. Well, let's continue our adventures in Zagreb. Well, what, what a odd interior, the tiles, yeah, but we climbing up to the, the stairs. 
Well guys, this is our room number six and maybe this is the picture of Zagreb. Maybe ancient city six, number six, right? What is it? Wow, not good, not bad. <laughs> yeah, and this room is for 50, no, 62 euros for tonight. I mean, 31 per one night and what? Uh, 31 euros get you in Zagreb. The beautiful window, um, double bed with a flat TV with an air conditioner, of course. Night table with a two mugs or glasses, no mugs, and even kettle, electric kettle. The kettles was uh, were the trouble in Spain. I would say in I didn't see in, uh, them in all the hostels where we stayed. No one kettle I seen I saw in uh, Madrid. Yeah, and this is the bathroom, evidently. Whoa, not 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 bad. And it's uh, the dryer, sink, toilet, and a shower. Well, it's a high time to have a rest because we woke up at. Uh, four o'clock. I would say not wake up actually because we still have not waking up. We got up at four and now uh, had a really uh, hard day and now we're gonna uh, sleep a little bit and then gonna explore Zagreb. Don't switch. Well guys, we headed out uh, to the downtown of Zagreb uh, from our cozy room just to explore this city a little bit and uh, to exchange our currency because we paid all our kunas for our room and now have only euros and uh, suddenly they uh, accept rubles so we can exchange a bit a bit rubles we don't need too much because we check out and uh, hopefully we leave uh, Zagreb uh, on Tuesday guys I tried to pose how to how I receive how I perceive Zagreb how I feel about it and uh, for me now I think it's uh, like you are in uh, maybe steampunk game or steampunk uh, movie or something I'll say this uh, gothic buildings and the uh, tramways and the uh, buildings covered with suit and uh, I would say some a bit dilapidated yeah it's uh, definitely steampunk for example this one check it out well guys and we're taking a chestnuts I remember the last time I ate a chestnuts when I was in Germany uh, in maybe 2016 uh, I would say in the Christmas Eve and it's uh, burnt or no or fried or no roasted roasted chestnuts but it's better to say burn because they not to roast it it's not not op over open fire very early morning in Zagreb we are already set up uh, for a searching for a uh, vaccination first address is Dubrovnik 15 let's uh, hop on train and uh, find out if we can get vaccinated there here you can vac get vaccinated by with the Johnson uh, from uh, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. so now it's too early it's now it's 10 a.m. so we uh, we don't want to wait uh, for about uh, five hours we try to find uh, we will try to find something else and uh, in about a kilometer from here in the uh, there is a uh, another vaccination point uh, which I mean of course against COVID-19 um, in the market let's uh, let's let's explore it. Well, guys, and behind me is the main fair of Zagreb, uh, Dubrovnika 15. We came here, uh, we made it here uh, by a train, and yeah, we didn't find it, at, and it's absolutely empty now. We accosted uh, the woman, uh, the lady, at the, on the street, and she told us that yeah, the, there was one uh, vaccination point, but now it moved, and she didn't know where. So maybe. Uh, moved somewhere here uh, in one of these pavilions but we didn't find it so another option we have is uh, and the most popular one is Miragoiska 16 so we're gonna head uh, out to Miragoiska and find out how it works we had the crosswalk underground and check it out so creepy and eerie here with this bunch of graffitis on the walls here
the light in the end of the tunnel. <laughs> to find out that the same schedule for Miragoyska 16, uh, we must come from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And uh, the entrance from the cafe, but I'll show you when we come. And yeah, so now we're gonna find some cafe to have a, have some bite, have some snack, a little uh, maybe Croatian food, some soap because we have not uh, uh, eaten, uh, have not been eaten the uh, I would say first course for some I would say for some months maybe plus for month. Well, guys, we decided to have a dinner or no a lunch. And do you see this uh, Croatian soup with the vegetables and the bread and some kind of a beef? And it's only for 28 kuna for one person. This is the entrance for information increase and uh, the door, one moment, and this door is for entrance for vaccination. And if you want to inquire about uh, vaccination, you can go into uh, parlor number seven or suit or room number seven. <laughs> Well, guys, this is it. This is my certificate, and uh, that I would say confirms that I have been vaccinated by P1 uh, Johnson Biological uh, vaccine. Yeah. So now we can go back home, and uh, then uh, then tomorrow we have a flight to Sofia, uh, to Bul Bulgaria, or Bulgaria. Yeah, and let's see what happens next. What a cozy places you can find in Zagreb. Actually, this is uh, the uh, trail or track that uh, goes the, to the old part of the city, I would say so. What a beautiful house! Isn't it? Would you like to have an apartment in this house? Mm, I do. Yeah. What a beautiful gate. Oh, what's a, it's not a gate, actually, it's a, just a door, but it's so huge. Wow, cool. Well, we bumped into a beautiful park. Well, check it out, what a beautiful view from here. Heavenly, this is our ruins of some fortress or maybe castle. And, oh, you can pick out because it's covered by trees. And I found in internet that uh, the, this building behind me is the palace of uh, Ludovic Jelacic. I don't know exactly who it is, but maybe some major person in Croatian history. Have a look at this. What a beautiful panoramic view of Zagreb uh, in the sunset. As far as I know, it's one of the oldest churches in Zagreb. Unfortunately, the view of this cathedral a bit spoiled by the scaffoldings. But hopefully we will come back here when it's renovated. Check it out, what a beautiful cathedral and maybe it's a, some kind of a church uh, a bit closer. And the roofs with the tiles, red tiles of uh, Zagreb. And let me remind you, tomorrow we will uh, set out on a trip to another capital of European city, which is Sofia, the capital of Algeria. And from there, we're gonna hop on the bus uh, that will, will take us to Istanbul, back to Istanbul, because uh, there we dumped our bags. 
unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know exactly. The uh, cathedral is under renovation and is uh, under restoration works and uh, are carried out. And but the same time is also beautiful even and uh, covered uh, by scarf foldings with installed scarf foldings. But well, have a look at this. How many decorations with uh, statues of saints and uh, with some maybe patterns here? It's really cool. It can be compared maybe to uh, Milano Cathedral. Yeah, it's also uh, Catholic, though as far as I remember, uh, creations are uh, Orthodox. And behind me you can see towers with some fortifications uh, from the history of uh, Croatia. I know that they, uh, I would say were in the, the part of uh, Austro-Hungarian uh, kingdom and uh, took part in many uh, conflicts and wars until even Croatia succe uh, succeeded here yeah, from Austro-Hungary and uh, became an independent country, independent state. In this boating, hopefully well day, rainy day, uh, we continue our uh, trip, I would say the journey, it's a bit more greater than just a trip to Sofia, another capital of a uh, European country. Yeah, and actually we need to come back to Istanbul and we chose uh, Sofia as intermediate point because uh, the uh, direct flights from uh, Zagreb uh, were too expensive and that's why we decided to buy the, to fly uh, via Sofia, I would say, the, through Sofia. Uh, yeah, then in Sofia we're gonna buy bus tickets. I'm sorry I don't like uh, filming when I'm uh, passing the crosswalk and uh, yeah, uh, they were gonna, in uh, Sofia we're gonna buy bus tickets uh, to uh, Istanbul and then maybe in a week or two uh, we will embark on travel and journey to United States. Hopefully it will be okay, everything will work out. Yeah, it turned out very well. Let's see guys. Now our, uh, now our goal is to get to airport. Well guys, and we are not in England, but yeah, we are still in Zagreb, but uh, check it out what we uh, bumped into. This is the British cab cabman. Wow, cool. Super. But its condition, I would say, not too good. It's a bit, it's a bit rotten. Well guys, another day, another lunch, and we have to take something like uh, Orza, co-creation stew, or a uh, braised chicken. With a vegetables mixture and their water with uh, some herbs, which tastes like lemon. So let's dive in. What a beautiful sunset. Uh, now we're in Zagreb. Now we're about to board on a plane that flies to Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. We passed the passport control, yeah, and now ready to board. See you in Sofia, guys. Maybe, uh, and I also, uh, I also sit at the window, so maybe I can shoot some videos for you with um, take off. Bye, bye, Zagreb. I'll reminisce about the days here in the future. The Virginia. Well guys and welcome to Sofia International Airport, it's too dark to film but let, let me try to, to, this is it, this is my wife, she's chatting, with, texting with someone and is, this is, uh, evidently this is our bus that goes to the downtown. Well guys, eventually we made it to our room in Sofia, check it out, it's really cool, uh, especially after all these rooms we had before and uh, uh, apart from um, Elisette's room in Madrid and check it out, we have wardrobe we have a two uh night desks and a big double bed with a or oh, we have a refrigerator we have a cattle we have some glasses and mugs and a very large flat tv and even two chairs with a table with a, some beautiful flower and a, of course a wi-fi and a beautiful picture of what of some house in bulgaria yeah maybe maybe in some village and also we have a Oh, we have eventually our own, our private toilet and yeah, cool and, and shower. 
we have a toilet and a shower and even as my wife told me we have a, our own balcony or terrace in there let's check it wow i can't i can't remove this net against the mosquitoes so i wouldn't do it well really uh, an air conditioner so we're really tired it's time to hit the sock see you tomorrow guys the mountains in the haze you can see in the horizon on the horizon sorry and they I would say this part of uh, Sofia Cathedral, or oh, sorry, Sofia, the uh, Alexander Nevsky Cathedral pokes out with a church, uh, Russian Orthodox Church also, po uh, stands out in the, uh, I would say, on the roofs of uh, Sofia. Yeah, actually, uh, we are short of time, and uh, but I would like to stay in Bulgaria, uh, Bulgaria uh, for a little longer, because especially Bulgaria, uh, and Russia have a lot of connections, their cultures, uh, history intertwine and uh, overlap. Let me explain a little bit more about it. Modern day Bulgarians uh, originated uh, as the merge of uh, very ancient uh, Bulgar tribes and Slavs. And did you know that the first Bulgar state uh, was located in the territories of modern-day Kuban region in Russia or uh, in the steppes uh, between Azov and Black Sea and their capital was situated uh, next to the Taman city but it's now flooded I don't remember exactly the nomad tribe caused uh, them to leave this place but after maybe Kipchaks or Hazars or maybe uh, Mongolians I don't remember exactly but uh, then after inv invasion of nomadic tribes, uh, Bulgaria, uh, Bulgarian people split it into uh, two parts. One part uh, came here to Sofia and found their own uh, country, their own state, and other ones went to the uh, territories of modern-day Tatarstan Republic, also the part of Russia, and to the Volga. And it's uh, the state called Volga Bulgaria or Volga Bulgaria with the capital uh, Bulgar, which is now nowadays is not far uh, from Kazan, about 60 kilometers uh, away from Kazan. And these Volga Bulgars were under the rule of uh, Hazars of uh, Mongol Empire and eventually uh, under Russia or Russian Empire. However, the uh, Bulgars who live in Sofia and Bulgars uh, from Volga have a lot of uh, common things like I would say their religion, they have uh, orthodox religion, even Kyrillic alphabet. So we will try to uh, investigate uh, about the tickets, uh, the prices and the schedule of the trains uh, that uh, run between Istanbul and uh, Sofia and also I'll try to I would say do some sightseeing and show you the wonders of Bulgaria, wonders of Sofia. Well guys, and behind me is the monument to uh, Tsar Liberator, or, or uh, dedicated to the emperor, uh, I would say, or Tsar of Russian Empire, Alexander II, who actually liberated Bulgar Bulgaria from the Ottoman rule. So the, as the uh, sign of gratitude, they established the monument here in the main square of uh, Sofia. But let's head out to the, let's set off uh, for the main feature, or let's say the most renowned cathedral in uh, Sofia to Alexander Nevsky Cathedral, which is nearby. Well guys, Alexander Nevsky Cathedral uh, is uh, one of the features of one of the symbols of uh, Sofia. It finished in 1912, as far as I remember, or in 1914, I don't remember exactly. And yeah, uh, and here is the bone of, or rib, uh, which is a relic uh, of Alexander Nevsky, uh, is displayed for uh, for parishioners, for worshippers. Yeah, he is considered as a saint in Orthodox Church, and uh, he was the uh, warlord who protected Kievan Rus from various invaders, especially read about the um, battle in the ice uh, against Livonian uh, order. And uh, yeah, Russian Orthodox Church bestowed uh, this uh, rib, I would say this relic, 
on the uh, Bulgar Bulgarian Orthodox Church. Now it's kept here in this uh, cathedral. Let's try to uh, go inside. Well, guys, and I saw two parts of the bones of the rib of Alexander Nevsky exhibited there in two chests. Yeah. Well, now let's go uh, to the where? Uh, Serdica. Let me, let me show you what it, what it is. We're in the heart of Bulgaria, in the main square. Check it out. What is behind me? And yeah, I noticed that they have a yellow a cobblestone. Why yellow? Huh. Very odd. And this is the stelo, or something like a monument, uh, maybe to the victory, lady of victory or something. But we're nearby the... Uh, Sendika, which was the palace of um, Constantine, Emperor. Let's find out, where is it? St. Medele Cathedral uh, of Bulgarian Orthodox Church was presumably finished in 10th century. Actually, it's very hard to film uh, this uh, Nedelia Cathedral. Nedelia, yeah, because it's covered by trees. <laughs> and now, hopefully, it fits into the camera. Check it out. What a beautiful one. But let's head to where? To Rotonda or the St. George Church. Well, guys, and behind me, one of the most ancient churches, uh, Christian churches in Sofia, St. George Church uh, of 4th century AD. And it uh, was located, it is located in the uh, yard of Emperor Constantine the first Roman Emperor, who transferred the capital from Rome to Byzantinium which later became a Constantinople. This is it, and this is the archaeological site. I would say the remains of the yard of uh, Constant Emperor Constantine. I mean, yard of the palace. I forgot. Well, guys, I will say this is the monument to the Saint Sophia. And this is Bania Bashi Mosque. Well, guys, and as Sofia, a very ancient city, it was found in early first century AD, or I don't remember exactly, or maybe maybe what first century before Christ. It's actually dotted with excavation sites like this one, and you can see ahead of the mosque, which is Bania Bashi Mosque of 16th century AD, and it was found under the Ottoman rule, as far as I know. As you can see, uh, way down is the, another archaeological site of, of ancient city Serdica. This is the, that was the western gates of this uh, ancient city. Check it out. And the Lviv Bridge or Lvov Alliance Bridge uh, and heading uh, down to the uh, central train station to investigate train schedule and prices. We need a train that goes to, East, to Istanbul. Let's see what are we gonna find. Well guys here we are in the main central, oh, central uh, train station of uh, Sofia. Well, let's find a ticket office to uh, buy tickets to Istanbul and yeah, what a beautiful train is that? Steam train, right? Cool. But let's find uh, the ticket office and a currency exchange because I I would say I suppose they accept only the uh, uh, lines or leave us left. Well, guys, and we bought two tickets uh, for the train to Istanbul from Sof out of Sofia. Uh, for the uh, open compartment uh, fur berths, uh, yeah, open compartment with the fur berths. Yeah, we bought actually two berths or bunks, two bunks. So it uh, departs at uh, 6:30 and arrives tomorrow at uh, 5:30 a.m. Now we're going to our hotel to uh, take back. I would say to grab our bags 
and come here again to the rain st train station and then the party to Istanbul. Initially we wanted to buy a slipper, I would say two birth slipper, but it it was full and we had to buy only uh, cushions, I would say bunks. So we bought two bunks uh, in the train to Istanbul. Well guys, and the streets resemble um, the streets of old Belisi. I would say uh, the same almost dilapidated buildings and uh, the paving stone, paving stone roads. Well guys, we dropped uh, by the cafe and uh, ordered some uh, traditional Bulgarian food, which is the so cream soup. Uh, check it out. Ribs are on the way, will be served very soon, and the homemade wine, red wine. It turned out that this uh, cream soup consists of or contains the pumpkin, carrot, potato, and something I don't know, crotoni. What is it? And sour cream. Well, guys, my memory card is almost full, and evident evidently, this is a train to then Istanbul. Check it out. When we enter the train, and I'll show you the setup. Well, guys, and this is our setup, and let's find out if there is a toilet or bathroom or shower or something like this. What do we have? Personal, yeah. What is it? It's closed. Well, this is the sink and trash bin. Ah, and water closet. We have. Oh, not too bad. Cool. Bye bye, Sophia. It was a very great team when we let's head off to the Istanbul. We pulled out. Or we started out. Our journey to uh, Istanbul and this uh, outskirts of uh, Sofia. and ASL and this is the compartment which accommodates uh, four passengers to lower to lower bunks and to upper uh, bunks and the table we're in the vicinity of Istanbul but I can, uh, and I can maybe proclaim the end of the first portion of the journey but I'm completely shattered because we were having passport control at midnight and at 2 a.m. At least we made it. Here is it, Istanbul. Welcome. Return to the same hostel I lived in the when I just came to Turkey, but another room. It's room number three, and yeah, it's a bit. It has one extra room. Check it out. This is for 600 liras. Also, the sofa, two chairs, and a table, and the kettle again, and the refrigerator, and the sink, and the bathroom. And this is the our double bed with the two comfortable armchairs. So we're shattered. And Goodbye, beautiful apartments that have been our home. And welcome to Miami International Airport. We've been, I would say, undergoing the passport control for 10 flipping hours. And let me give you a tour of our apartment. And uh, first of all, uh, we're sharing with another family from Moldova. So guys, let me first uh, pull up to my storage unit, which is 
number nine. So this is how it works and how we make our money here. Well guys, another moving day. Uh, it's not all our stuff that we have in our apartment. On your left, it'll be uh, a bedroom. It's pretty special for both of us. 